Hi, till now I discussed LR0 and SLR1 parsing. Let's compare LR0 and SLR1. SLR1 is more powerful than LR0 and every LR0 grammar is SLR1 but converse is not true. You may find reduced conflict or shift conflict in LR0 but there will be no conflict in SLR1. I already discussed two examples which are not LR0 but SLR1. And the number of entry in LR0 table is greater than equal to number of entry in SLR1 table. This is due to reduction. In LR0, we are writing reduction in all column of action part, whereas in SLR1, we are writing reduction in follow of LHS side variable. So, reduction entry is reducing in SLR1. That's why LR0 table entry is more than SLR1. And both table differ only in action part, not go to part. Go to part is same. Only in action, in reduction entry, it is differ. SLR1 is more efficient than LR0. LR parser is of two type according to LR0 item and LR1 item. According to LR0 item, it is LR0 parser and SLR1 parser. Then according to LR1, it is CLR1 and LALR1. In some book, you will see LR parser is divided into four type LR0, SLR1, CLR1 and LALR1. In some book, you will see LR is of three type. One is SLR, one is CLR and another is LALR. LR that is a common type means LR0 is considered as a common type then SLR, CLR, LALR is type of LR and SLR parsing is same as LR parsing we just use SLR parsing table rather than LR0 parsing table I already discussed LR0 parsing using star. Just go through that lecture. You can understand how we'll do SLR parsing. SLR parsing is same as LR0. We just use the SLR parsing table. Now SLR is finished. Let's discuss CLR or you can say LR1. In question, you might find LR1. LR1 means CLR1. CLR1 stands for canonical LR. LR1 that is equal to LR0 plus one lookahead symbol. In LR0 parsing, there was no lookahead symbol. Now we will add one lookahead symbol to LR0. That is nothing our LR1. LR1 determine the reduction dependency on lookahead symbol. In case of SLR, reduction was dependent on fall of LHS side variable. In case of LR1, reduction will depend on that look ahead symbol. We will write reduction on look ahead symbol column. The redundant reduction can be removed, hence it is called as canonical LR1. Repeated reduction can be removed here. We designed LR0 automata and SLR1 automata by using LR0 item. Now we will design CLR1 automata by using LR1 item. Let's first understand what is LR1 item. It is in this format. If there is a dot at RHS, that is LR0. If we are adding one look ahead symbol here, then that is LR1. It is LR0 plus one look ahead symbol. So A derive alpha beta, that is just normal production. Beta is not epsilon. And A is a terminal or it can be dollar, that is right end marker. This one is referred for the length of the second component. This is our first component. This is our second component. So this one is for length of the second component or you can say length of the look ahead. It can be 2, 3 that will be LR2, LR3. But in our syllabus just LR1 is given. Let's discuss LR1 only. And the look ahead has no effect on item. If A derive alpha dot A, this is a reduction and that reduction will write in A column. So this is a reduction if next input symbol is A. The set of A's will always be proper subset of follow of A. 
in SLR1, we are writing reduction in fall of LHS side variable. Here, we'll write reduction in look ahead symbol. And this look ahead is proper subset of fall of A. Means reduction entry will again be reduced. In LR0, we are writing in all column of action part. In SLR1, we are writing fall of LHS side variable. And in CLR1, we will writing on look at symbol. And this look at symbol is proper subset of fall of LHS side variable. For LR0, reduction entry will be more than SLR1. Again, SLR1 reduction entry will be more than CLR1. Let's discuss how we we'll construct LR1 set of items or LR1 automata. The method of building collection of set of valid LR1 item or LR1 automata is same as creating LR0 items. Just the look ahead symbol will be different. We need to little bit modify the two procedure closure and go to. Let's discuss what is the difference from LR0 items. First closure, in closure we will repeat the process for each item A derive alpha dot B beta comma A A is the lookout symbol is in I, I is one state. Then for each production B derive gamma in G dash, G dash is the augmented grammar and for each terminal B in first of beta A we will add this B production as dot is before B and their lookout symbol will be first of beta A. So, we will add the production B derived dot gamma comma B means we will find first of beta A and we will write this as a lookout symbol for this B production B derived dot gamma. You need to see due to which production you are writing this means this is closure of which production. Like here dot is before B. So due to this production you are adding this first of beta and A will be look ahead here. I will explain through example there you can better understand. And you need to repeat this step until no more item are added to I. So this is all about closure. In closure rather than LR0 item we will add one look ahead symbol. And that look ahead will be first of beta and A. Next go to i x for each item a derive alpha dot x beta a means by x it will go to another state their production will be a derive alpha x dot beta and this a will be same. Here one state is i by x we are going to state j. So whatever look ahead present here that will be same in state j and return closure of j. If this beta is a variable, then you need to add closure of that. This is all about closure and go to. In closure, you need to add first of beta and A as a look ahead symbol. In go to, look ahead symbol will be same as the previous state. And how we will start the LR1 automata? We will always start from the augmented production that S dash derive dot S and their look ahead symbol will be dollar. Then you need to add closure of this production. Then from initial state, we need to do go to transition. If go to i x is not empty and not in C, not in C, C means set of states. If that state is not present, then add that go to i x to C until no more new set of item are added to C. So set of item means some states. One state will contain some set of items. This is just the theoretical part how you can find closure and go to when I will explain with example you can better understand this. If this lecture is helpful for you please like and subscribe. Thank you.